Today, it really is my pleasure to announce the appointment of Jen Cohen to serve as athletic director at the University of Washington. It was like I went to bed and then I woke up and I was one of the few Autonomy 5 female athletic directors and every single person wanted me to comment on women in athletics and what's it like to be a woman and I literally had no starting place to go. I had nothing to say. And I was actually resentful for having to say it because I didn't like the idea that I had to identify the female in front of the athletic director. It's not about me. I didn't bring something and try to manufacture some bullshit that isn't what this place is. I just took what's special about this place and put it in high definition. Once we were able to do that and it felt so authentic to me and real, then I think that I started to build the confidence that not only do I belong here, but like I'm the person to do this. When I first interviewed with her, I could tell that she was special. You know, what's a great AD? Somebody that has your back, somebody that gives you the resources, enough to win and will always support you. You know that she cares. And uh, I think with any great leader, that's what they do. I was in second grade. My dad was trying to find something to connect us with the community. The Huskies were so good at the time. I didn't know anything really about college. I was just a little girl. And we started going to games. And uh, we used to sit in this end zone. And I don't know what it was. I just was super hooked, like, really early on. I would go down to that tunnel every game and like bark at the opponents when they were coming out. But yeah, no, I decided at a young age that I wanted to make this my work. And I had no idea what I was talking about. You know, like I wanted to be in administration, I wanted to be an athletic director. I mean, nobody knows what that is. I didn't get into the University of Washington. I would say that probably was one of the most pivotal moments in my life where I had this dream to come to school here and to work here and eventually be in the athletic department here. You know, and all that did is motivate me even more to want to try to continue to pursue my dream. My first job out of college and grad school was a division three job. You know, I swept floors and I fixed shot clocks and, you know, I met with division one ADs who told me that there was no way in hell I was going to be able to do it. My whole life's been I left athletics after I had my first son. And I was already like seven years behind most people that work in big time college athletics because I didn't know if I could actually juggle being a mother and doing my job. It's always interesting certain people's paths, right? But excellence is always hard to keep quiet the cream's gonna rise to the top. And sometimes it's not on our timetable. When the opportunity came available at UW, I mean, UW did a great job doing their due diligence, talking to a lot of people, a lot of really good people. And I'm really looking like, really? <laughs> We're gonna waste all this time, energy, and money, really? We know exactly. I had no doubt. You know, we lost nine games in a row, and there was a, a certain point, I don't know if it was after six or seven, it's, you know, it's hard. You know, you're losing close games, you're feeling like you're letting people down, and and she just popped up at my office, we shut the door, and, you know, we believe in you, and I believe in you. You know, just keep to your culture, keep to your values, don't be straight away about it. You know, you're doing a great job with these guys, just keep fighting. And that's why I always go like, everybody needs a coach, right? When you struggle during certain times, I think you, you question yourself sometimes and the great leaders can get you back on track. You know, I'm just so proud of what Hop's doing, the way he's doing it, how he's building it. I told people all along, why can't we win a national championship in football and men's basketball? Why can't we win national championships in all of our sports here at Washington? That's why you just have to be authentic, in particular in our industry where you're groomed. I think cards and handshakes and the this and that were supposed to be a certain way. That's the only way we're going to get there. That's what you're told. I make a change in basketball. I don't know what I'm doing. You know, I'm passionate about something that I'm too emotional. Assertive with somebody, then I'm too bitchy. Like, yeah. And so I don't care. 
Like, I want to be with people that are in the arena competing in their lives. Like, trying to be the best and have courage to take the risk and to do that. Like, that's what fires me up. You know, I'll go speak and there'll be a line of women, you know, out the door that want to talk to me. And so, like it or not, you know, I have a responsibility that I need to recognize and to talk about, you know, the differences and the discrimination that comes with it or the barriers that come because I have to, I have that responsibility because I'm in it and it does happen and it's real. I just have to just kind of be me. And I think that, imagine a world if we all just had enough confidence to just like own who we were and like, we're cool with that and we're loved for that and respected for that.